Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sheath for basically every sword you can imagine, which has like a straightforward shape like a katana does, for example. So you're going to need, for the first step, of course, your sword you want to make the sheath for, and a long enough piece of wood, plywood preferably, because it's pretty stiff. Um, that's a little bit thicker, just a little thicker, maybe a millimeter thicker than your blade is. It actually can be the same thickness, but then you'll have to sand down the blade and that's a bit of a hassle. So this wood is about a millimeter thicker than this sort, so this shouldn't be a problem. Now for the next step you're going to take your pencil and just lay the sort onto the piece of wood, just like you want it to basically, maybe like that. Then press it down gently with your fingers so it just doesn't move. And then you take your pencil and just trace the shape of the blade onto the wood. And it's a good practice to just leave maybe a millimeter or two of space so the blade has you know, room to fit in. Just basically just slide in smoothly. So like that. All right. Now you've got the shape. And then what you're going to do next is just move the blade maybe a centimeter or something like that to one side. Trace it. Do it on the other side as well. That. All right. And now you already got a shape which you can cut out, you know, except for the tip here, which you're just, just gonna freehand a little bit. Whoops, maybe like that. Alright. And now we can just use any kind of saw that works to get this shape out. And you know. A saw that most of the people have. It's just a jigsaw and with a small blade that can curve easily. This should do the job just fine. Alright, so I've got it cut out. You can see the thing I cut out is basically the same shape as the blade as it should be. And now we can just check whether the blade just, you know, fits in there. And... Yep, it does. So that's good. Alright, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut out the other lines. Alright, there it is. Cut out. You can see it's just a little thin over here. But that's not going to be a problem later on. You'll see why in a second. Okay, I've got some wood here. That's about six millimeters thick. You can cho choose whatever you want. Four millimeters doesn't really matter too much. And now we'll lay the 12 millimeter blank in my case onto the wood. And as you can see, it flexes just a little bit. So you can just take the blank you cut out, lay it into the middle, and then just position it as you please. Again, make sure to press it down just a little bit so it doesn't flex too much, or it doesn't move too much. And then use a pencil to trace the outside. Alright, there we go. And we're gonna do that twice and cut the blanks out. See you in a second. Alright, there are the two pieces, and we're just gonna do the next step, which is no, gluing the middle piece, the bigger piece, onto the outer piece, and we're just gonna use regular wood glue for that. So we just turn that around, and give that a good layer of... Uh. Right, 
got the hole unplugged. There we go. Alright, here we go. And then we're just gonna put it in here. Get the position just right. No match, just match the outside faces of the sheath. Right. Now we're just gonna let it sit for about 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on your wood glue. All right. Now I've got this glued up. Just confirming that it actually fits. And it does. Cool. So now we can just glue on the other piece here. This one. And we'll do that and come back to you in a second. Right, about an hour later, the glue has fully cured and the sword should now fit into the... Yeah, there we go. Should now fit into the sheath just fine. Alright, and now you can just go ahead and sand these corners off and smooth the sheath, paint it, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to show you a finished sheath I made earlier, in a video earlier actually. Uh, just hold on. Alright, here we are. Subscribers of this channel should know this sword here. And I made, made this sheath with just the exact process here. And, you know, sanded it, gave it two coats of painting and then a little bit of varnish over that. Painted it all emblem on here. As you can see, works just fine. Alright, that's it. Alright, that's the easiest way I know to make a sheath for about about any sort with you know that kind of straightforward blade. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye.